this one we should be able to get. Since, I know, since, since there's nobody cry. here. Ooh, my mama's gonna see that. that. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to the July 2021 edition of Smash the Crate, the monthly series where myself, my husband, and my mother usually <laughs> try every item in this month's yes, keto yes. crate. Once again, she is busy working and my mother can't join us, but that just means more treats for us, right? Stick around to the end of this video to see if you were the winner of your very own keto crate. But once again, if you didn't win, don't worry. You can just use the link in the description box below to get a discount on your very first keto crate. Lego. So Richard, one of the first things I noticed at this keto crate mm -hmm. is you know how normally I open up the crate and the literature's on top yeah. and then, you yeah, know, then I have to like, oh, literature. They... It was on the bottom this time. So I just oh. opened the crate and it was just like, bam, snacks, bam, oh my eyes being inundated with snacks. Oh like, ah, God. like it was so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and there are lots of good things. Now, the, the literature was like, on oh, the bottom. Yeah, now, the literature was on the bottom, yeah, right? Yeah. But you know, but still, that was so awesome. Sure. Okay, but you know, we're gonna uh, get this kicked off. Mm -hmm. So our rating system, tier number one, yes. love the taste of it, would buy this, it's mm -hmm. delicious. Tier number two, huh, like it. I would definitely accept it if I got it for free, but like, I'm probably not gonna buy it. I agree. Tier number three, Eh, don't hate it wouldn't throw it away but definitely wouldn't reach for it first exactly. you know and then tier four eh, spit out mm, i hate this yes. i don't like the taste mm, of it I right like that tier. yeah the tears. Eh, yeah exactly those are our tears right our tears mm. and then also you know since i am running on the show today we are starting mm. at savory and then we are ending on sweet right because we save the best for last in the words of oh, vanessa williams right <laughs> yeah okay so let's go let's get started let's, we have a good mix of savory and sweet let's go, my of Maybe course, method. first, we're going to start with the original smoked beef stick from Landcrafted Anything Food. Anything that can be the original. Exactly, right? So That would be good. Is that what you... No, I'm not going with you on that one, right? So, okay. Yay. Oh, this looks nice. Looks like a beef stick. They all look like beef sticks. They all look the exact same. Like, it's a beef stick. Okay, let's go. Mm. Actually, chewier than I thought it was going to be. Not too bad. No. Well, it's basically what I thought it was going to be. Pretty daggone good. That's still a tier three for me. I'll just, I'll never reach for meat sticks mm -hmm. first. They're not the thing where I'm like, ooh, let me get a good meat stick. It's just never going to be that way. It's a tier one for me mm. because this is really good and it has a good chew. It it's does have a good chew. It's not too dry and it's not too moist. It's right in that perfect balance of both. It's the Goldilocks tier of meat one. sticks. Yeah, those good. There you go. If you like meat sticks and beef sticks, yes. I think you will really like that one. Yes, yes. I yes. don't like meat sticks and beef sticks. So there well, you go. It's all about your likes. Okay, exactly. It's uh, we all know it's all about what I like. Okay. <laughs> Next we have the pasilla chili cheese. Uh, yes. Southern oh. recipe, small batch pork rinds. This back memories. As I was saying, so we are very familiar with these. I actually did a TV spot with Southern Recipe small batch yes, uh, pork rinds for my local news station. So we had to go out and buy every, yes, <laughs> every version they had, no, right? So this brings back memories. And the TV spot was only like two minutes long. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards we were left with like six bags of pork rinds. So we're like, well, guess we're gonna be eating Southern Recipe I small batch. Complain. Yeah, I know, right? They are, they're really good. So here you go, sweetie. All right, so let's see what this is about. I mean, you can clearly mm -hmm. see that it is covered in some sort of like Perfect. dust, you know? So, all right, let's go. Let's go. I think to be fair, I don't really know what pasilla chili cheese is supposed to taste I like. Was just you know, say that as well. I, was like, mm, I can taste the pasilla. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the chili cheese. Though. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know which one it is. They're right, all over the place. So to me, that's just like a flavored pork yes. rind. You know, like a like a chili really flavored chipotle. The, the, yeah, the, the, the Whatever it is, it. it's good. The that's a tier. That's a tier two for me. I really don't go out and buy pork rinds a lot, but um, this flavor is okay. I'd accept it, but I wouldn't go look for this. I would double that up with another tier two from me as well. It's yeah. good. I don't know if it's like, get out of my way good. Exactly. But it's but like, it's like ooh, I'll, I'll take those. I'll take those good. Yeah. Okay. Veggie infused protein grab and go puffs from Better Than Good Snacks. Ooh. So these are uh, tangy barbecue flavor. I don't think we've had these. No, we ha we've never had these flavor. You remember when we had the cheeseburger I flavor? Remember that. Exactly. I remember and that. I was talking about that. I was like, how did they make Ooh, this one really puff good. tastes actually, like a whole cheeseburger meal, right? Well, it's really good. But these I'm a little sketchy on because they actually have added sugar. So they have molasses and they have things like that. Like 
that comes in barbecue yeah, sauce, yeah, but at the same time, I'm like, but notes. we're we're keto though, you know? Yeah. Like it's like what so. What does it say? Is it protein? Um, protein grab and go puffs, yeah, you know? So these that's... aren't. Yeah, there's four carbs for it's this right whole in that, container, right in wheel house, and I'm just so like, like, eh, am I spending four carbs on this? But mm. still, you know what? I think it's four carbs for like a bag of Quest tortilla chips, so that could be comparable, like a that's side true, dish, true. right? That's okay, true. let's go. Yeah, here we go. Oh, both hands. There goes my baby right there. I got you. So look. These are ball oriented. These, are very circular. <laughs> These definitely um, have a, a barbecue looking yeah, coat on them, right? Okay. Oh smell gosh. It too. All right, let's go. There's a lot of dust. <laughs> dust yeah. That's barbecue. That's a barbecue potato chip. It's really good dust. Yeah. I mean, the flavor is mm -hmm. classic barbecue potato chip. With a little tang in it. Yeah. I, don't, I didn't get the tang, right? But I got the barbecue, right? They, they're telling you it's tangy, yeah. so that's why you want it to be tangy. Well, right? like, it's more like a sweeter note than a it's savory a note. Mm -hmm. Okay, the it's, a, it's a sweeter better. note, you know? I will say, like all protein puffs, yes. it does get a little protein puffy oh, yeah. in your mouth. Like it's, It is a chew and a swallow to get through. Oh, yeah. They don't disintegrate, you know? I think that's why they're so tiny, though. So yeah, exactly, so that help. you don't have to <laughs> crust all the way, so there's more surface area dust, mm. you know? But um, these are definitely another a tier two for me. I, I, I would accept, accept them if I got them, but I'm not gonna buy. Them. In my mind, tier two as well. Yeah, I absolutely like so the, them. Yeah, but those are good. But I'm saying well. the better than good the um, cheeseburger mm -hmm. tier one. Like those were delicious, right? Yes. So these are good. It's just this flavor is not. It's just this flavor is not necessarily my jam. Yes. Oh God. Next, I am particularly excited about oh. Umlins. Crunchy cheese snacks like Gouda. I Gouda's. absolutely love the packaging too. Exactly, it looks very it looks fancy. It is very fancy. Regal. A and regal. Who sees Gouda anywhere? Like, exactly. That's such umlins. A special cheese. Yes. So this is I'm basically here for this. like moon cheese, yeah. except it's Umlins. It's Gouda. And it's I feel Gouda. Fancy. It's gonna taste like so a good. It's gonna taste so good. Hello. They don't talk like that. <laughs> Look how big these uh, cheese puffs are. Cheese balls, oh, crisp. Wow. I mean, golly. So yeah, these are oh, some yeah. some quite some some puffs over here. I don't know if you can see them. Okay, mm. they look they look not as like uniform as a moon cheese. Yeah, They're so not as smooth. Say, They're definitely more three like random shapes. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Mm, uh oh. Yeah. Took a second. Mm hmm. But the good is there. Uh oh, moon cheese. Mm. Those are good. Mm hmm. To me, those are. I mean. Flavor-wise, they're tier one. These taste just like the Moon Cheese Gouda Cheese yes, Puffs, do. right? So it's just like if these are sitting in the store next to Moon Cheese, mm -hmm. you could grab either one and that would be great, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like Moon Cheese has an advantage because they're in stores mm -hmm. and we've never seen this in stores. Um, but like, you know, if this was in Whole Foods right next to the Moon Cheese, they're equally as good. Oh, yeah. Taste-wise, tier one, it's just I haven't seen these in stores. So am I buying it? You know, I don't quite know. Mm -hmm. But I mean, taste-wise. I will concur. They're good. Okay, and then the last savory thing we might have, yeah. Okay, good Sam, maybe like good Samaritan, but just mm -hmm. dry roasted and salted macadamia nuts. Ooh. Like, when's the last time we had macadamia nuts in a keto crate, you I'm know? I was gonna say that. It's been a I very- I do not remember. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if we've ever had uh, macadamia nuts in a keto crate. Yeah, I know. We, we always get almonds, we yep. get peanuts, we, we get sunflower seeds. We had pistachios at one time. We had pistachios, we? yeah, but like, when do we get the macadamias? Okay. Well, I'm intrigued. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, is that a big macadamia nuts? Yeah, macadamia nuts are huge, and that's a half of one. Apparently, I've never had a macadamia nut. So this nut. is a whole macadamia nut. You see how oh, it's kind wow, of split yeah. down the middle? Yeah, so you got a half of one, so. All right. Yeah, that's so right. macadamia oh. nuts, just a regular one. Okay, let's go. Like little baby onions. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Mmm, they're so buttery. Mm. Definitely don't taste like that, you know. Mmm. Mm. I think I became a macadamia nut fan. <laughs> <laughs> Those are so good. Mmm, I have to agree. Mmm. Wow. Aren't they just buttery and well, like No, I've never. You ain't never had a macadamia nut? No, it doesn't taste like ever before. What? Go ahead and pour me some more. Dry roasted and salted only? There's no flavor? Yeah. Mm-mm, no. Wow. That's a macadamia nut. Right. Count me in. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you like roasted and salted macadamia nuts, you're gonna love that. You're gonna love it if you can find them at your store. Now this does seem like a uh, like a business with a cause, like they support mm -hmm. farmers oh, and exactly. the planet and stuff. So this is definitely a good option. Go good, Sam. 
Yeah, but macadamia nuts are macadamia nuts. That's a tier one. Those yep. are good. Yeah. I concur. Okay. Moving into the sweets. <laughs> one of my favorite things, Revel Snacks. The uh -oh. double dark chocolate coconut bites with ganache filling. Are you kidding me right now? These things are delicious. This is where I'm sad my they mom's not here because she knew you were coming. She loves these things. They're so good. Oh, oh okay. my god! It I'll takes tell a, her what they taste. It like. takes a while to open. Here's yeah, they're on. It's on a tray like chocolates. Oh yeah, exactly. Gosh, this is like super. It's like fancy. a ball. Yeah, exactly. So it's a it's like a snack this. ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was okay. Not expecting this. Wait till you get the creamy ganache filling. I know. Okay, let's go. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. It's like a brownie because mm. it's so smushy. Mm -hmm. And the coconut gives it like a mounds kind of taste. Mm -hmm. yep. mm. It's like a mound. I like mounds. I love that. <laughs> it is. It's not super sweet. Mm -hmm. It's like a touch bitter because it is double dark chocolate. Well, mounds is dark chocolate. It is, yeah. yeah. But I mean, still. Is dark chocolate with but they put a ton of sugar in it, too. Well, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, exactly. But so. the taste, though, it tastes but just like you get the coconut. It's a tier one. If you like, you know, like the bitterness of dark no. chocolate, and the mm -hmm. smoothness of the ganache and coconut, that's delicious. For me, it's like a mounds with way more chocolate and a little less Less coconut, coconut but still, the, the oh overall feeling is yes, there. That's perfect. delicious, isn't I enjoyed it? it? Yeah, that was a, that was a tier one. Yeah, I absolutely love those. That one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, those were good. Maybe you go miss that one. Maybe I'll save you a couple. <laughs> I cannot make any promises. <laughs> Next, we have the cookie department oh, cakewalk. I remember those. Yeah, we remember these. We've had these before. So she also loves these. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nah, I so will remember this for you. The the cookie is a little it's like a exactly. got a little dense and smaller well, than I remember, so. but still, it's delicious. It has some little it's, sprinkles it's, it's on it. In one pack. It does seem really thick. Like it seems cakey. Like <laughs> cookies aren't normally this thick, you know? But like I mean, but it's gonna be good. Alright, take a bite. Yeah, we've had this before. Mm. Oh really? That's like a cake. It, it is a cake. That's it's a not cake. it's not a cookie. It's I don't a know cake. the cookie is a part. The cake department. No. Mm. Well, the cookie department that's making cakes now. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's good. You get a slight cooling effect. I mean, just very slight. Mm -hmm. But the flavor of that, I don't know if they changed something. It's so this is delicious. Light and buttery. Maybe they need to stick more with like the the, <laughs> the thick cookie. Thing. Yeah, like the kick the <laughs> thick cookie. That is really good. I and enjoyed it. All it's missing is some icing. I mean, this tastes like cake. Exactly. Like you can put. That's what I was saying. To go from the yeah. chocolate to that was like night and day. It was well, beautiful. Mm. There ain't I nothing bitter it. about this. It is sweet. I wish it had icing, the but that one? was just me. Yeah, yeah that's a tier one. one. That is delicious, too. right? Okay, next we have IQ Bar Banana Nut. Ooh, Do you remember this? I don't We've remember. had these before, and I'm just gonna say the banana nut flavor is delicious. Well, I, I think you're yeah, nut. I think you're gonna love it. Like it is absolutely you delicious. Had me at banana. You had me at banana nut. So the bar, oh, you know, nice. it is. It's a nice. Oh my god, it smells banana. So. Mm. I know, right? You're gonna be excited. I mean, and it's not like slimy. And it's, it's not, not slimy. Really We've had our share of slimy bars, mm. haven't we, sweetie? So mm. yeah. Okay, so I think you're gonna love this. Mm. Okay, let's go. Too. It's like a muffin. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> but not muffin. Mm -hmm. I would agree. It's delicious. All right. <laughs> I I Cuba. Cuba, right? Okay. Mm hmm I mean, I remember the first time that I had one, I really didn't have high expectations. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, banana nut bar. Well, you know, what, what can they really do? But, like, this is exactly like a muffin. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, it's exact. I, I can't really say other words than exactly <sighs> like a banana nut muffin. It's delicious. And the many reasons why I love bananas. And you know, nuts. And I love muffins. So, here. Yeah, he can love it for the banana. I love it for the muffin. It tastes <laughs> like a muffin, right? It's and the texture is like a little chewer, you know, yeah, chewier no, to where like it gives you the muffin mouthfeel. Really Hashtag muffin mouthfeel, right? It really does. It's not Tier really one. A that's IQ delicious. Bar that made a mu IQ muffin. Yeah, exactly. That's that's really good. But it's not soft like a good to go bar. No, it's exactly. not like an actual cake. It's dense enough where yeah. you feel like it's filling it's and good. you still ate a banana. Nut. I love that, right? Tier one. What'd you think? Tier one. Yeah, absolutely. I okay. Would definitely eat that again. Penultimately, we have high key um, uh -oh. mini cookies, chocolate chip. These I are just. I wonder what these are tasting like. Exactly. <laughs> like, we already know the deal. Like, I don't know. Let me see. We're for just myself. trying these because, you know, thank you. I've you know, never, we're doing this for you. We're I've, not doing it for us. I've never had high key chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> My sweetie. No, we both love high key. Yeah. 
I mean, and they're the so chocolate good. Chocolate chips are basically traditional AF. Yeah, I mean, it's just like a, it's just like a, like mm-hmm. a, like a famous Amos. Like mm-hmm. it's just yep. a chocolate chip cookie. Let's go. I already know. Yep. Surprise, surprise. Mm-hmm. Those are amazing. Mm. It has the crumbly cookie consistency that mm-hmm. most other things don't have. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like it actually tastes. And like the a chocolate chip, like mm-hmm. chocolate. Mm. Bam. I don't get uh, uh, an erythritol cooling aftertaste. Well, I think that's the beauty of being so tiny mm-hmm. too. It's just like some of your. That is just good. This was it. the first mini cookie I've I ever tasted, and it set the bar so high. Like I mean, <laughs> these are so good. Tier one, yes, no competition. Well, that definitely would do. That would happen. Yeah, tier one, tier delicious. One well. Yeah, key, you did it again. Okay, sweetheart. Now for the very last thing. Uh-oh. Here we Keto go. Keto and Co. Peanut butter crunch granola. Oh my god. They said the they said the 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 famous word oh granola. So especially with this one. Okay, word. I've never had this before. We've never had this yeah, before. So you absolutely love granola. So I saved it for last because I anticipate loving granola. Exactly. And I love peanut butter. I was just like, this better be everything I want it to be. Oh this my god, look at the will not last. Here, babe, take this huge hunk right okay. there. Ooh, it's like a hunk. Right. Otherwise, it is quite crumbly and granola-y, right? Mm-hmm. So. Looks interesting. Okay. Very I'm just going to have to pour myself a little. Yeah, like, like a bowl of cereal. Yeah, bowl. exactly. It could definitely be cereal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or you can smush it together and make one alone. Love it. Okay. All right. Let's go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's not making a weekend. Mm, that's not making today. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's that's oh, really, okay. okay. I had a really big hump. You did have a big hump. <laughs> okay. Big, man. I love it. This is good. Because you can see the textures, you can see mm-hmm. the pumpkin seeds, you can see the oh, almonds. What is it consistent? You can see the coconut. Mm, it tastes like peanut butter. What does it taste like? Some delicious peanut butter thing. <laughs> and it's that, delicious. That nailed it down. <laughs> this tastes so good. Good. <laughs> like that was a uh, peanut butter consistency. Like, uh, Finally, yes, please. Something that was worth <laughs> saving for the end. Oh my! Do you God. remember we used to save things for the end, like because we never boy. had them, and then we'd be like, ah, that wasn't what we thought Especially it was going to be. Oh, no. ah, don't be that. <laughs> oh, he talking about my mama because she's not here to defend herself. Mm. No, she could come okay, to the door at any you, moment. You right. That is great. It really was. I That's a it. tier one mm-hmm. through and through. That's a danger zone. Exactly. Like, you know, you separate. Get you a little almond so milk. there are 10 servings per container. I would have to immediately separate those into little baggies and then hide the other I baggies. I was going right? to say, and then throw them in there. And like, <laughs> uh, hide them somewhere that I can't never see them. Exactly. Those... But taste wise, that's really, really I have good. To agree. It's, it's, it's really granola. good. It's yeah, granola. it is it is peanut butter granola <laughs> at that, right? I don't like that, you just don't like granola. Yeah. If you don't like that, you don't like yourself. Okay. Mm. Oh, I said it. I said it. Do you know who else is gonna think that stuff's delicious? Who else? The person that won oh this month's gosh. keto crate. <laughs> and that person is what? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Try the granola. Congratulations. Like, it is so good. Like the thing I love about this keto crepe, mm-hmm. bunch of old faithfuls, mm-hmm. bunch of things that we already knew that we liked, and some that just like re-surprised us uh, again. Like, you know what? That was better than I remember. I completely agree. Then some classics, some staples, yeah. like, oh my god, we're never gonna love these. Then some brand new mm. knock them out of the park. And look, my honey buns got to try macadamia oh, nuts yeah. for the first I time, know, right? Some good Sam's. Like, and I, a wonderful meat steak. Uh, meat steak. But that's what I love about the keto crate. It's just a mixture of all these things all the time, right? Get the. <laughs> so look, if you didn't win, don't worry, because you can use the link in the description box below to get a discount on your very first keto crate. Get this keto crate for the granola, if nothing else, right? Yes. It is. It is that good. Yes. And then look, we got our Gouda cheese puffs. I, I mean, so much um-lins. great stuff. Um, umlands, umlands, Very like. Good. It is so good, but let me know down below which item out of this keto crate did you like the best or do you want to try? Like, I recommend them all. Mm-hmm. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll catch you next month on Smash the Crate. Yes, we will. Bye. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs> Eat the balls. Yeah, I was just gonna say, <laughs> they're getting away. <laughs> I love you, Angel. <laughs>
Shut up. <laughs> Why are you so mean? I love you. Ew. Let me some original. Mm-mm. No beef steak. Okay. Look how original this is. This is. Look how original this is. <laughs> you are irresistible. No. Oh my gosh. You're talking about yourself. <laughs> Stop! Don't tell the truth to everybody! No. How you like me now? Oh my god, you are so reckless. No one's gonna see this. I'm putting this on. No,